Hey guys, it's Tanika and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my real life, everyday makeup routine. Now, I would say that my everyday routine is probably a little bit more than your average person. I do go to work five days a week and so the first reason I like to do a full face is because I work in customer service and I want to look presentable. I don't want to look like a slob who just rolled out of bed and stumbled into work. And the second reason I like to wear a full face of makeup is because I am quite self-conscious about my skin. As you can see, I do have breakouts, scars, pigmentation, and redness to my skin, and I'm just not comfortable going to work without any makeup on. I'm sure that some of you can relate to this, so that's why I wanted to show you my real everyday makeup routine. All right, if you're excited for this video, then please give it a thumbs up and let's get into it. All right, I've just brought you a bit closer so you can really see what's going on. Um, do you like my new plant, by the way? It's not real, but it looks nice. All right, so starting off, I have already applied all of my skincare. If you want to see what I've been using lately, I'll link a little Instagram tutorial I did down below. Next, I like to go in with some kind of primer, and this really just depends on what I'm feeling that day. Most of the time though, it is a toss up between the L'Oreal Infallible Anti-Redness Primer and the Maybelline Master Prime Hydrating Primer. So the Maybelline Master Prime is really good when I just feel like my skin needs a little bit more hydration underneath my makeup. I've especially been loving it over the cooler months here in Australia. And then the L'Oreal Infallible is hands down my favorite anti-redness primer for days when I do have a lot more breakouts and my skin is a lot more inflamed, this, this is my go-to. But lately, just to mix things up even more, I've really been loving my MAC Strobe Cream. Now I have the shade Gold Light and this really isn't a primer, all it does is leave a really nice glowy finish to the skin and I've really been digging that lately. So with all that being said, today I'm going to go in with my MAC Strobe Cream. Now I only use this when I'm having reasonably good skin days. I don't have a lot of big breakouts at the moment, so it's not going to emphasize my texture at all. So as you can see, that just leaves a really nice all over glow. I <gasps> oh, bloody love it. So now it's time to tackle these blemishes and I'm going to be using my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. This is life. It is so full coverage, you only need the tiniest amount and it really just does a great job at spot concealing any breakouts or pigmentation that you may have. So I just like to use a small dense eyeshadow brush to apply this. This one here is the Sigma E55. I just take a little bit and then apply it over all the blemishes I want to cover. All of that is just one little swipe into the concealer as well. It's so good. And then I just go ahead and blend that out. Next, I like to go ahead and color correct under my eyes with the NYX Dark Circle Corrector, and this is in the shade Fair. I know my dark circles aren't that bad, but I do like to go in with this so that I don't feel the need to use a really super full coverage concealer on a daily basis. So I just swirl that around in there, and I'm using the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush for this, and then apply it under the eyes. So that is everything for my skin prep, I guess you could say. Moving on to foundation, I don't have one that I use every day, it just kind of depends on what I'm feeling, but lately I have been rotating through these. First up I have the Rimmel Lasting Finish Breathable Foundation in the shade 10 Light Porcelain. I really like this one for every day because it's super lightweight, it's pretty long lasting and I can get a nice coverage with it. And then for similar reasons, I also love the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation in the shade Porcelain. And then if I'm doing a super long day at work or I just want something more full coverage, I go in with my Maybelline Superstay. I have two shades here, 102 Fair Porcelain, which is more pink undertoned, 
and then 110 porcelain which is more yellow and I mix the two together. This foundation is literally my new holy grail. I am obsessed with it. For today though, I'm going to be going in with the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. As I said earlier, my skin isn't too bad, so I can go in with something that's not as full coverage as the Maybelline. So I just apply one full dropper on my face and then blend it out with a brush. This is the Sigma F82 Round Kabuki. And then I go in with a second layer and go over the top of it with my Beauty Blender to get that nice flawless finish. So one of the reasons I really love this foundation for every day and I do recommend it is because it has customizable coverage. So if you prefer a light to medium, you can just apply one drop and get that. Whereas if you're like me and want something a little bit more full, go in with a second drop and you're going to achieve that. So this foundation leaves a soft matte finish and I just find that putting the strobe cream underneath gives it that really nice glow. For concealer, I've been using the Maybelline Fit Me in the new shade 5 Ivory, which is available in Australia now. I found this at Priceline the other day. This has more of a medium coverage, so I find it's really nice for under the eyes on a daily basis. I also pop a little bit onto my eyelids just to cover up the discoloration and get that nice even base. And then to set everything in place, I am still obsessed with my Models Prefer Mineral Finishing Veil Powder. I do just pull the little sifter thing out of it though because I find it hard to get the powder out. So, in with my Beauty Blender, I take a little bit and set under my eyes first. And then I just take that up over my nose and onto my forehead. And whatever's left on there after that, I just go over my eyelids. And then to lightly set the rest of my face, I just go in with a big fluffy brush. Next, I need to add some more life and color back into my skin. So I have been loving my L'Oreal Back to Bronze bronzer lately. So this one is a matte bronzer and it just works so well for fair skin. I'm using my favorite Zoeva 126 Luxe Cheek Finish Brush. And I'm going to start by lining it up with the top of my ear and just working in like up and down circular motions like that. Then I just like to blend it up and then I dip in with a little bit more and go around my hairline. And then I always go in with blush because I find it just really livens up my skin. So the one I've been loving lately is the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Coral. So I focus this on the apples here and blend it back in circular motions. This blush does leave a little bit of a sheen to your skin. So if you have a lot of texture on your cheeks, I probably wouldn't recommend this one. Go for something more matte. But if you do want your skin to look a little bit glowy, then this is a really great option. And then for pretty much my favorite part of doing my makeup, it's highlighter time. Now I do mix this up every day. It really depends on how I'm feeling. But one of my favorite ones to go for is the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter. And I have the duo with the shades Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. So this one is more subtle and isn't as shimmery, whereas this one will really pack a punch. So on the day, you can just decide, what am I feeling? Do I want to be subtle? Do I want to be glowy? Do I want to mix of both? Who knows? 
I like to take the more subtle shine. <laughs> I like to take the more subtle side, which is called lightning dust, and apply this on my cupid's bow and down my nose. And then I go in with the more shimmery side, which is called fire crystal, and pop this on my cheekbones. And this brush I'm using is the Sigma F03. The bristles on this one are quite tightly packed, so it's going to give you a more intense application. If you do want something a bit more soft, go in with a fan brush. Now that is the base fully complete. I then like to go ahead with my eyes and my brows. I do apply a little bit of color onto my eyelids because I feel like I really need to add that dimension back into my face because I've gone ahead and just covered it all with foundation. So what I usually do is go in with my bronzer that I used that day and just a fluffy brush and run a light wash of color through the crease and under the lower lash line. To every other person looking at me, this probably doesn't matter and they don't even notice, but it just makes me feel a little bit better and like I don't look as sick. Now that I've applied all my powders, I go in with my Rimmel Insta Fix and Go setting spray and set my face. Next, I apply some mascara. And then not every day, but if I'm feeling it, I'll go ahead with a pencil eyeliner and a tight line. I do like to use a brown over a black on an everyday basis though, as it does look a bit more natural. This here is the Rimmel Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer in the shade Rich Brown. So I like tight lining because I find it gives my lash line a little more definition, whereas this side, it kind of just looks like my lashes are coming out of nowhere. I don't know if that makes sense, but I just like how it looks. I don't bring it all the way into my inner corner either because I find it transfers a lot. So I stop around about here. And then lastly, I can't forget the eyebrows because I literally have like nothing going on. My new favorite brow product is the Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Definer in the shade 300 Blonde. I just give them a little brush. This brow pencil is just so easy to apply and it just leaves a really nice natural finish. It's not too harsh. completes the look, you know. And then I use a brow gel just to make my three strands look a little bit better. This one is the Essence Make Me Brow in the shade one. <laughs> forgot about my lips. I never wear a lipstick on a daily basis. I just like to go in with a lip balm. This one is my Leno lips. So I just take a Q-tip to get rid of any makeup that's on my lips first. All right, so that is my everyday makeup routine. It usually takes me around about 20 minutes in the morning. Sometimes quicker if I don't get it when my alarm goes off. But I really enjoy playing with makeup, so I'm happy to do this kind of look on an everyday basis. And as I said, I am quite self-conscious about my skin, so that's another reason I do a full face. I have tried just concealing up my spots and powdering and trying to do that as an everyday look, but I just don't feel comfortable, so this is what I'm going to stick with. I would love to know what your everyday makeup routine consists of, so leave me a comment down below. Do you go as full on as me, or are you just 
a bit of mascara, a bit of lipstick, and you're out the door. Well, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, and please subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. I hope you're all having a great day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!